What's up guys? Uh, I'm going to be doing a video today a little different than what I normally do. Um, this is going to be on um, In Search of Darkness uh, Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, this was a crowdfunded documentary on Kickstarter and um, super, super impressed with how this thing turned out. Um, super, super disappointed in how they handled the fucking second edition. Uh, I think they did it mainly to profit more, uh, but that's just my opinion. And maybe you'll agree with me after this video, but... Um, so I'm going to dig in a little bit here. Um, this is part one, uh, In Search of Darkness. So this was the standard version. This is a four and a half hour horror documentary on 80s horror. Okay, standard version. They also did three collector's editions. Elvira, Dead Meat, and Corey Taylor. So just to give you a little idea here. Um... Includes, uh, you know, disc with matching label cover. Uh, these sets did come with a pin and uh, three posters. So there was uh, this poster came. And then there was another uh, collage poster of 80s horrors characters. And then if you got the collector's edition, this poster was also included. Um, I didn't, I don't really care about the posters, but... Uh, just so you know, they were included. That was their collector's edition lineup. So if you did get one of the collector's editions, um, there's an introduction by, you know, this character. And um, they're prominent throughout the documentary. I, I think they may have the longest interview or they may have been asked the most questions. Um but it is chopped up throughout. So, you know, they go on to, let's just say, Friday the 13th, part two. And you can see 12 different actors that they ask um, similar questions to. And Elvira will be one of them. And then a half hour later, they're on to a different movie. And they're asking different questions on different subjects. So, uh, the introduction is done by Elvira. Uh, it is not only Elvira. There's hundreds of... Uh, people that are interviewed um throughout the documentary so um all right so that is the first one um and i was super impressed i don't know if i said already but it's a four and a half hour documentary it is so well cut together um i just thought it was going to be complete shit i actually missed it i missed the the kickstarter i had no fucking clue about this um I was searching something on Elvira, and the collector's edition popped up. And, uh, you know, when you click something, and something else pops up, and then, you, then you're on to something else. And I ended up down the fucking rabbit hole, and I came across the Kickstarter, which was over. Um, the project was done, uh, it, and it was, the, the, it was completely funded, and the production or release was just starting around the time that I found out. So I was able to get my hands on the Elvira version. I am a huge Elvira's fan. I mean, you can't be in the 80s horror without being a fan of Elvira. Uh, so I was able to get my hands on one. I purchased on eBay. So me being the collector that I am, um, I had to get every version available. I'll probably never watch them. But like I said, the they're they're all extremely similar probably four hours of the four and a half hours is exactly the same on all three of these versions so um okay so super impressed with it this it, the release was very well done um now we'll get on to part two so uh here is uh this is the elvira version for part two uh anyway I'm getting ahead of myself here. So uh, I find out in advance that they're going to do a part two. I find out there's going to be a Kickstarter. I'm ahead of the game this time. It didn't even start yet. I got fucking alarm set. I got shit written on my calendar. I am not going to miss this for anything. 
because I missed out the first time and had to pay big bucks to get them. So Kickstarter comes around, read through it. Everything's very similar. We're going to have this collector's edition. It's going to come with three posters and a pin, blah, blah, blah. Same shit, double the price this time. So I, I could see raising the price a little bit. Now this was done within like a year and a half, maybe two years tops time difference. So it's not like prices went through the roof where you had to charge double, uh, you know, for something, the same thing you released previously. So a little pissed off about the price, but I'm going to pay for it anyway. The, the first versions, I believe they were $47.99 on the Kickstarter. The second versions were $84.99, which is a big, big fucking difference. So then digging in, it's getting closer. I think around Halloween, more info got released. And it turns out they're doing 11 collector's editions. 11 different ones. Me being a collector... Super fucking excited. Without a doubt, I'm buying all 11. So now I'm like, okay, I understand why the price went up. They had to pay more people for their time and, you know, royalties, whatever. I don't know what the fuck goes into that. But I'm like, all right, they paid three people the first time. Now they're paying 11 people. I get it. I'm totally okay with the price. So here goes... All 11 versions. Still sitting in their boxes. I've had these for three fucking months. I am so fucking disappointed with the release of this fucking set. After how fucking super stoked I was to get it. And, um, you know, I spent $1,200 on all 11 of these fucking sets. So, here's what you get. Now, this is the Elvira version. For part two, very similar to the first one. And uh, just has a standard disc. Okay. It uh, again comes with the three posters and the pin. Um, nothing fucking related to Elvira in this set at all, except for the cover. Every set looks, this has the same disc. It is the same four and a half hour documentary. Nothing fucking different about this at all in any of these 11 sets so um i emailed them i'm like what the fuck's going on you said it's going to include a 20 minute interview of uh the kickstarter said it's going to include a 20 minute interview of the you, you know whatever version that you bought so uh i find out they get back to me and they go well that's digital only that's not included with the set which boggles my mind, but, uh, and the digital platform they use because they're overseas, it's called Vimeo, which is a service you have to pay for. So, you know, you store your videos on there or upload your digital copies on there, whatever the fuck you do. And then if you don't pay your service, you can't access it. So it's not like having movies anywhere or, or, you know, Voodoo, wherever I store my digital copies now. And I can go back to them whenever I want for free. They're mine. I fucking paid for them. With this fucking thing, you have to pay for this service. Which, uh, you know, I completely missed on the first time. Um, I was unaware of that because I bought these all second, you know, outside of the Kickstarter. I bought them secondhand, so there was no digital versions. Um, but anyway, the first copy... It, there's an introduction, blah, blah, blah. So they got fucking lazy or they just wanted to make more money. I was so fucking pissed off um, at how they handled this. Uh, anyway, and, and also this is how I got the set. I never watched this. I never took this out. I said, you sent me all these sets. They're not, they're not even sealed. Like, And they go, well, we sent you a dust cover to protect from dust. So we didn't think we had to seal them. I was already pissed off to begin with. Uh, um... And that pissed me off even more. It's just fucking laziness. They doubled the price and did so much shit to cut fucking corners. I And I was just so fucking pissed off. So I decided to... I'm going to make my own sets. I dug into this fucking Vimeo so I can get my 20-minute documentaries for each uh, said collector. Uh, of You know, your collector's version. There's... 
I'll, I'll show you some of them here once I get to that. So uh, I contacted Vimeo and they said, well, once I said, well, I'm this is mine. Why do I have to pay your service to get it? And they said, well, unfortunately, that's just the way we use our platform. It's used for business, it, you know, on and on and on. And they said, well, you do have an option to download your digital copy. And once you download it, it's yours. It's on your computer. It has nothing to do with us. But if you ever come back and use our service and pay for a subscription, your digital copy will be there. So I downloaded all my fucking digital copies because I, like I said I ordered all 11 sets I spent 1200 fucking dollars um and I got 11 of the identical sets 11 of the same exact sets with different fucking posters so I was a little pissed off there um I don't know if you've seen any of my videos before but I do um change out my cover art and I make um I, I get um DVD covers made so here's an example here. Uh, this is my Amityville Horror set. Uh, most people probably have the six or seven movies, but I, you know, I'm a completist and a collector and a bit of a fucking maniac. So there's actually, I think there's 26 movies related to Amityville Horror, but um, these are the 24 that I currently have. So you could see a lot of my sets. Um, I redo the cover art, put them all in a set that they're related to. It saves me space, and it's, you know, something pretty cool that a lot of people don't have besides you. So, um, I say, you know what? I'm going to go buy some fucking programs where I can burn my own disc. I went out and bought a fucking chopper to chop up my own covers. I went out and upgraded my printer to a photo printer, and, um... I bought some cases, and I said I'm going to make my own fucking sets, and uh, I'm going to make them how they should have been. So, uh, just show you a couple here. Uh, this is the Kane Hodder version. I got all white, ca uh, sorry, clear cases. Anytime I change a cover or anything, I put it in a clear case. So most in my collection is clear cases now. So here's the disc. It has the four and a half hour documentary on it, just like the. Uh, just like their version, every disc is the fucking same. But in my set, you also have your exclusive 20-minute mini documentary. Um, which I, I do like that they did it separate, because you can just watch it separate if you want. It is also in the documentary. So this 20 minutes, which is straight through here, is cut up throughout the documentary, like, like the, the first and second version. Um, but if you just want to watch their 20 minutes... <clears throat> excuse me here you can do it with in my set so um that's all that i wanted i think that's what uh you know that's what a collector's edition is you're buying the set because you want to know you know you're you're a fan of that person that they're paying to to promote their collector's edition so this is the fright rags version i was a little confused with this I'm very familiar with Fright Rags because I go to a lot of horror conventions and all, and uh, they're they're always a vendor there selling their shirts. Um, but this was all these sets were eighty four ninety nine and this was ninety nine ninety nine because it came with a t shirt. It has this t shirt which is actually pretty badass. I'm a big VHS fan. Um, so I read the description. It also says it has a documentary. I'm like, well, it's not about anybody who's the fucking documentary about and it, it is actually bullshit or miswritten doesn't have a documentary so in my set i put all 10 versions of the documentary on this disc just so it could be similar to the other sets and um you know have something or else just like they released it it would be you know, a standard fucking disc with a different cover art in there. So nothing collectors about it at all. Um, I, I think that's it. I just was pissed off. I wanted to vent a little bit. I've been working on this for three months and I, my cases came in today. I was finally able to put them together. Super happy with the final product. I'll just show you a couple of them here. Linnea Quigley is, uh, 
I was a huge fan of Return of the Living Dead. Uh, she was trashing Return of the Living Dead. And I remember that fucking scene of her naked in the cemetery when I was a kid. It was a very big deal to me or probably anybody at my age at that time. But I didn't realize how iconic she was in 80s horror until I watched this documentary. So um, if I was like anyone else, I probably wouldn't have bought this. But after going through this, this is absolutely my favorite uh, version or if I could just pick one, this would be it, because she was very dominant back in the 80s, and I, I did not have any idea. Uh, this is Good Bad Flicks. That's a great name. I've never heard of them, but they're just like a YouTube channel movie reviewer. Uh, that's Elvira. Uh, Brandon Tenold. he's like another reviewer. Uh, I showed you Kane Hodder. Oliver Harper, another reviewer. Corey Taylor's back for a second for part two, like Elvira. Uh, Kane, Fright Rags we've seen. Chris Jericho. Cinemasker, another reviewer. Bill Mosley, super fucking cool dude. I met him like 12 times. Uh, they didn't bring red meat back. I'm not sure why. And that's the standard version. <coughs> All right. I think that's going to do it. Um, I hope I'm not sounding like an asshole, but, uh, you know, I spent a lot of money here and I felt like I was fucking cheated out. Um, so I'm glad this worked out. It cost me more money, uh, but now I can actually make my own disc, put uh, labels on them and covers. So it's not all bad, but um, yeah, you got any questions? Anything I can try and help you with, I respond pretty quickly, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thanks.